my name is Kelsey McCarson, and I'm uh, grateful to chat with you. I actually talked to you before your title shot, UFC 258, um, and I really enjoyed that. I love watching you fight. I loved watching you beat Stephen Thompson um, in a big fight. You were the underdog in that fight. Man, did you take that personally? Not really. No, I never take it personally. Uh, a lot of stakes going to that fight. You know, I just, like you said, just lost a title fight. Uh, it was a lot in the line and then lost. And then I got it to bounce back, believe that I still can do it. So, yeah, it was a lot of more pressure that I put on myself, but it's never personal. You know, he's a great guy. And uh, for sure, as soon as the, the, the cage is locked, I'm going to try to finish. You know, I'm going to try to dominate my opponent. And uh, that's exactly what I did. I went there and dominated, but nothing, never personal. I mean, it was a great fight. And Stephen Thompson, of course, has a, such an awkward and cr cranky, weird style. And yet you had the, you were the person that took him down, I think, the most. I don't think I've seen him get taken down that that many times. How'd you do it? I don't think so as well. I think I was the only guy that was able to take him down and control him uh, three times, three clean takedowns. And uh, yeah. Shout out to my trainers, you know, I sing for MMA. Uh, one of the, my main uh, grappling training partner for this fight was Jason Jackson. He's yeah. a Bellator number three in the world right now. He was the one that helped me so much because he's as long and tall as, as Stephen Thompson. He helped me a lot. And for sure, Raymond Dennis Shaw was another guy that helped me so much, you know, understanding that style, kind of figuring figuring things out and then yeah and they they, they they get me prepared for the fight yeah i was super excited about watching your fight at ufc 264 um i'm really happy for you that you won i think big things are ahead for you um obviously you saw what happened in the main event of that fight card what do you think about the win for dustin poirier but also all the crazy stuff after the fact with connor it was a little uh crazy to see it you know I'm, i was very very happy for for dustin i think he the first round it was amazing and then i think he will just keep getting better through the rounds i don't think connor even with no injury i don't think he'll be able to recover he's gonna get that beat down the first and maybe beat down the second maybe he made to the third but that'll be it you know yeah. and uh crazy to see uh that injury and then that went to a lot of motions to Connor, you know, they he went crazy. So yeah, that was a, a sad part about it, but I'm I'm very happy for Dustin for you. I've seen a lot of emotional things in the cage, but um it's one thing to be emotional after a loss. It's another thing to like threaten the life of your opponent you know, and his yeah. wife. What did you think about that? Yeah, that I don't like it that Like I said, the way it fights always is never personal. For sure, it's always a business. I try; it's a competition. I go out there and you know try to give my best. But sometimes you you gonna lose, you know. And then uh, people react the way they react. It's easy now to judge Conor McGregor, but yeah. I never been through all that. You know the pressure that he carries when he fights, all the the amount of money, the amount of a lot of a lot of important people were there to watch that fight yeah a lot of emotions for sure i don't agree but i, I can see you know getting getting very big and uh, having a lot of emotions a lot of things that go out of your hand i for sure he's gonna i think he's gonna sit down watch that very closely again and i hope he makes the right decision but nothing that i can do you know i don't agree with that but it's hard to me to judge on the guy too, you know, and I, I'm not on his shoes, you know. Well, you can't in your title uh fight against Kamar Usman, man, mm. what a that was an amazing fight, and it was also emotionally powerful at the end. And of course, you didn't pull off the win. You almost did, you came close. Almost, yeah. A lot of emotions, but I love that you were emotional about it, right? After the loss, because you'd worked so hard. And I also love the touching moment between you guys, you and Usman, mm -hmm. because you guys have a relationship outside sure. of the sport. I love that uh, vulnerable display, if you want to call it that. Um, and I'm excited yeah. about you getting a rematch. <laughs> For sure, me too. I think, I, I, like I said, it's never personal. I have nothing against Kamara Usman. We share a lot of great moments uh, with, uh, with the family. Great, family, great moments training, you're pushing each other. He cornered me before I help. 
I warmed him up before a fight, and I've been pushing each other through years, you know, and then I'm, uh, I have so much respect for him. As soon as the fight was over, we went back and we, we shook each other's hand, and um, that's it, you know, but for sure, as a competitor, I want to, I want to face him again, especially right now. He's one of the best welterweights of, of all times. And I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to facing him next. Yeah, it was interesting in that moment to see how long it took for him to switch back over to, you know, kind of like, because he loves you. Obviously, you guys have a, a strong relationship. I'd love to see that. Now, you said after your win against Thompson that you didn't expect to get to jump right back up to a title shot, right? Um, I'm assuming you think that Colby Covington is going to get the next fight is that yeah. kind of known in the yeah that's what i believe that's what i've been told i think uh cole cole big is going to be fighting for the title against kamar and i'm right there you know taking if you take uh that fight off the ranks you know like kamar is already fighting Kobe. i'm the next guy i'm number one after these two guys and uh yeah i'm i'm waiting to see what's going to be next and i believe they got two options only i believe you're always going to be leon Edwards. Or it's gonna be Jorge Masvidal. That's my two options. But you know, I didn't talk to the UFC yet. They know I'm. A, I'm. A, they, oh, they know I'm. I'm available for these two fights. And but we, I, I believe you next week or one more week, you want to sit down and talk. That's exciting. Yeah, I saw you call out a bunch of people. One of them was Jorge Masvidal. Who's the other person you said? Leon Edwards Leon, and Nate right. Diaz. Yeah. Which one of those would you prefer? I don't. I don't. It doesn't. I don't mind. I do, I do believe I got to put a little bit more work to get another title shot. If uh, I think me and Leon Edwards, that will be the, num the, the, the number one, you know, the, the next challenge. You, you know, if he, that fight is going to be for number one contender. Yeah. If not, if Leon doesn't want to fight, want to sit down, I fight Jorge. You know, those number one options, Leon Edwards, second option is Jorge Masvidal. Yeah, and hopefully for Jorge Masvidal, like you said, you get a little more money. Yes, yes, because he's a big guy, big name. You, you can put a pay per view. It's going to be a crazy stylistic matchup. And um, yeah, I like that one a lot. So it sounds like you think you want to stay busy and you think one more yeah. win and you would get that title shot again. Yeah, maybe two wins. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's hard to control that. You got to be a great performance to, to you know, make a big case. And, uh, but I, yeah, I want to stay busy. I want to stay active. I want to keep improving. I think. I, I make a big, big improvement from my last fight to this fight. And I think as much as I fight, as much improvements like I'll be able to do, you know, adjustment, improvement. And um, that's exactly what I want. I want another fight soon. What about Nate Diaz? Yeah, that, that's always, I'm always available for big fights. So no way I'm saying no for these type of fights. You want to fight everybody. <laughs> everybody, everybody. I, got, I do believe in God couple more years in me, maybe three to four years. And I want to stay busy and fight everybody. I want to say when I'm done, I want to say I fought the best in the world, you know? Well, you're certainly one of my favorite UFC fighters. I love watching you fight. And I love your attitude both inside and outside of the octagon. So when I saw that you were sponsored by Kill Cliff, I love that. Yeah. I, mean, I love when good things happen to good yeah. people. Um, what's it like being one of the athletes that gets sponsored by a brand name like that? Yeah, I do. I do love Kill Cliff. I'm going to get one for you here. I'm so excited to be working with these guys. And uh, they've been awesome for me, you know. And then the great thing is they they uh, they sponsor our gene. You know? They sponsor Sanford and me. That's how, look, look at that. That's how we build that relationship, you know. And uh, Man, there it is. <laughs> see, that's how we build that relationship. And then that's my favorite right here. Oh, that's awesome. So, so as we built that relationship, you know, I met I met the guys, they went to the gym, and then they, they helped me a couple of fights already, and I'm so excited to be part of the Q Cliff team. I create energy. The most important thing is clean energy. Yeah. You know, especially right now with you, it's out of testing me all the time. Yeah. Following me, I got to do my whereabouts and a lot of things. So it's good to know that the supplement, the, the energy drink, the food that I'm taking, is clean energy is from a great company. And I'm super excited to be working with the guys from Kill Cliff. And clean energy and tastes good. Like you don't find you don't find that easy. You don't find it everywhere. So 
Make sure you go out there, yo. Kill Cliff. Very good. When it's legit, too, and how important it is for you to stay clean, just from my own personal experience, and so people know, I've taken a supplement before, and then it turned out, it came out in the news, that it had an analog of meth in it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it was wow. it was called a craze. It was a long, it was like five years ago. But yeah, that's legit. Now, if that was you, right, who just took something, oh, it would- Three, three oh, years was suspended, really maybe more. Yeah. In my career. <laughs> no sponsor wants you anymore. No fans respect you anymore. For yeah. sure, you gotta crazy. You, you gotta yeah. Make sure you go. You go kill Cliff. You go right. Clean energy. Nothing special. No problems. Great energy. I think before training, sometimes after training, that that's how it go with the kill Cliff, and I like it. It tastes good. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited for you. I'm really excited to watch Rest Your Cure. I'll happen to be at your gym in Sanford. I think next week they're doing a PFLs, doing a press junket out there. So hopefully you get to see. Oh, yeah. that. I heard something like that. That that would be nice. I'll see you around there. I'll be back next week. I'm back to train. Okay, good. We'll see you then. Uh, thanks so much for chatting with me. He's Gil Burns. I'm Kelsey McCarson.